Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For your October 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading, this is a reading for all Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One of my favorite months to read in. I love the decks I can pull out and of course all the decor. It's so much fun. Well, you have the card of Ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. And so there may be also too extra protection around you. Know that you're spiritually guided. And know too that, you know, again, when we return to our, our original form as beings, as spirits, without all this mind, all this noisy stuff, you have more love and support than you can even imagine. So I feel like if you're if you're embarking on something new, fear not, just keep moving forward. But let's see what the tarot wants to tell you. All right, detailed Celtic cross style reading today, followed up by a couple of other oracle cards. Your current situation, the Queen of Swords, the immediate influence, the Two of Cups. You have the energy of the Page of Pentacles in your subconscious. The Ace of Wands is in the distant past. The Eight of Wands in the more recent past. You've got the Seven of Swords coming towards you. Ooh, you ooh, yeah. You're represented by the Queen of Cups. You're attracting the Magician. You've got the Hermit in your hopes and fears. Six of Swords in the outcome. So moving on to higher ground. Now, they are giving you a bit of caution, though, when that Seven of Swords makes its way in. That can be double-checking things. That can be about in incompetence around you or somebody who drops the ball. So don't be afraid. In some ways, it, with that being there, I almost wish you had the Queen of Pentacles representing you. Let's see what's on the bottom because she is persnickety. That Queen of Pentacles does not miss a beat. You're the Queen of Cups, so, so you might find the way you handle it. If you do catch a mistake, you may handle it in a kind, loving, and gentle way, but still, again, be checking and double-checking. Now, if it's love, you have here a love story, by the way. If it's love, you may have somebody around you who doesn't like the idea for you. It could be an ex who has a conversation and says all kinds of things about you that aren't particularly accurate, okay? So if you find out that someone is tar tarnishing your good reputation with their dumb, slanderous words, Take the high road. When they go low, you go high every single time. So with that five of wands, nine of wands, I feel like you're going to be over that, though. It's like you don't have energy for funny business here. You have here just two major arcana, but they both are represented by the hermetic teaching, know thyself. When you know yourself, you know the universe. And, you know, the other thing is about that. When you know yourself, those day-to-day, -day, those little crows, that squawk at you, you're soaring up like an eagle. They cannot reach your height. So know that when you know yourself and you know the universe, you're not going to be concerned by it. So I do feel like, too, you have this energy, this fiery energy that has you moving forward. We've got Virgo here. We've got all the elements, it appears, actually. But with the Six of Cups, I feel like you're ready to be in a place where you can let your guard down a little bit, where you don't have to be double checking or where you don't have to, you know, take everything in all the time before you open your mouth. Because with that six of cups, it is a return to love and trust. I mean, you have a nice little love story here when you start to pull these in, okay? And even too, and I know these aren't major arcana, but I'll tell you what, this has things moving forward. This has things moving forward and they don't get caught on snags. There's nothing to hold this energy up. I feel like you're really going to be enjoying it a great deal. And like I said before, you have here know thyself a couple of times. Now, if it's a new opportunity with a job or with doing some kind of an entrepreneurial type thing, especially with a magician, that's where your creativity comes to life. I feel like if you're interviewing for a job or if you have some kind of project that you're doing, it's going to be on point. People are going to be talking about it for a long, long time and telling you, you have a gift for presenting. You have a gift for giving, you know, oration or any kind of a speech or even written, that type of thing where people say, 
You are a wordsmith. You have something very special about you with this. So I do see things as moving forward for you, especially with the Six of Swords and the outcome. You know, in the little brochure that comes with the deck, that card says, aren't you lucky? It is an indication of travel, just so you're clear about that. If you are planning a trip, again, double check all those documents if you're going with people. Make sure that they, and I know it's not your responsibility, but when you travel with somebody who is scattered and they show up and they're the only person who doesn't have their passport or they lose things, you know, and if you travel quite a bit, You've probably seen people back when tickets were paper and they were a hassle to get, where they had no idea where they put it. It's like, quit using that as your bookmark. Put that in a safe spot. So anyway, enough of that. But I feel like if you are traveling, there's something about you sort of double checking over others. And I feel like it's warranted. I hate to say it, but it is. So with this Queen of Swords energy, you've learned what you've needed to. And again, that may apply there too, where you say, oh God, I was in a nightmare situation with something like that. Um, where you'll say, you know what, I don't want to repeat old mistakes. I'm just not doing it again. Now, some of you that may apply to reconciliation, where you say that was an old mistake and an old behavior, and I'm not doing it again. With the Two of Cups, though, you have a match. And I'll tell you what, with that Queen of Swords, you will not lower your standards, not for anyone. And so if it's not a perfect match, you're going to keep on looking. And who am I to tell you not to be so picky? I think you're worth it. I think you know you enough to know what's best for you. And so with this Queen of Swords energy, it'll be very easy to pass on things that aren't for you. You won't regret it either. You're not going to look back and say, I wish I would have taken what was not right for me. You won't say that. With the Two of Cups, though, and the Magician, you have somebody really dynamic showing up here. And it's somebody that I feel like they can keep up with you quite well with that Magician energy. And it may feel like they, I, I heard materia, materialized from the vapor, like they appeared out of thin air. Okay, I feel like you're going to have a lot of that happening where it seems like, where did this come from? It just sort of showed up here. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, <clears throat> with the page of pentacles in your subconscious, get ready for optimistic people, new opportunities, good news on the way with money. And so for some of you, if it is a change, if you're moving, you'll find the economy much better suits you. You may be moving from somewhere too. Even if it's college town to college town, it's remarkable how much different the pricing can be from one place to the next. So if you're used to paying $9 for a bagel and a cup of coffee, you might find it refreshing when it's six. And you say, I know it's only $3, but that adds up over time. So I feel like moves that you make, you're just going to feel a lot lighter, easier. They're refreshing. It just feels like this it was the right thing to do. And so with this Ace of Wands in the past here, I feel like your creativity was turned up on high. Now, you may have had somebody who came back around with an apology. I am a little bit suspect with that Seven of Swords where it is, though. I just always caution when that shows up, especially in an energy coming towards you. So if you thought you were cool with your ex, you might find something there where they have said something that you don't agree with. It could be a misunderstanding, too. I mean, I, I wouldn't want you to overreact to something. But I do feel like there's something about this Ace of Wands that's connected to that Seven of Swords. And, and I get that in one way. But others of you, too, it may be also if you say I completely detached from the old a while ago, what that's going to do for you is pull in amazing new people, places, all the things. It really, with this Ace of Wands, you'll feel invigorated again. Here's where you feel excited about your life. If it's a job, you actually want to go to work, where you say so many new and interesting things keep happening there. And if there's a bit of a gossip in your workplace, I also feel like you're going to be somewhat relieved that you're not giving them new material, okay, that they're not talking about you. And so, with this Eight of Wands, things keep moving forward. These wands are so perfectly aligned, which we love in the tarot. You don't like these. When they're all tangled up, you've got a change card there. But those tangled wands don't make the change smooth or easy. They make it difficult. They make communication difficult. And so I do feel like, again, your checking can pay off. The tarot's your best friend who tells you the truth. And so when the cards come out and say, hey, there might be a little chaotic energy ahead, you can mitigate that. You can say, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna double check some things. I'm not going to just trust, especially if I don't feel good about it. 
I'm going to follow my intuition. And so with this Eight of Wands, things are moving forward. But like I said, with the Seven of Swords plopping itself in the reading, it's like we are doing just fine without you. Um, but with this Seven of Swords, I do feel like with this, it feels more like sloppiness. It feels more like an oversight. Now, it could be somebody who's careless with their words. So like I said, it might be a misunderstanding, but I still don't think you're going to be feeling it. Like, look, you need to be careful what you're saying here. Don't say that. It got misinterpreted. And I feel like whoever it is, they're kind of slovenly about their entire life. That's just how they do, okay? I, do, I feel like it's like they're not doing it to you. They're doing it to everyone. And so with the Seven of Swords, just watch out for it, all right? So you're represented here by the Queen of Cups. So if you're like, oh, God, this is so harsh. Well, no wonder. She's very soft. She's very compassionate. She's very understanding. She sees the potential and the good in every single situation, but she can be a little Pollyanna-ish. So you have to be careful not to put the rose-colored glasses on to the point where you go, whoa, what did I just step in? So with this, though, in terms of love and interpersonally, now I find this as an Aries sun happens to me quite a bit. People will want to confide in you. They're going to want to tell you your, their life story. And I feel like you're a good listener and that's why. And so that's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but be prepared to allow yourself a little extra time for those rendezvous to occur. Now, in terms of love, though, I'm telling you what, you do have one who comes in head over heels. It's easy to see why. And with the magician energy here, you both bring a lot to the table, but I feel like you're going to be equally as smitten right back, smitten as two kittens. It really will be supercharged. I feel like the two of you make a great team too. Your humor is very compatible. You'll find that there's times you're laughing until you can't even speak. Okay, you know the silent laughter and you're both shaking and laughing and there's tears, but it's funny. I get that very much so. And it's somebody who's an intellectual match. So if in the past you've, you've dealt with people who weren't on your level, that can be hard. And I just feel like this feels easy. It's easy street. You were born to be in this energy. And so like we were talking about, if you have a project, a presentation, if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to do great. But the hermit too with this reminds me, reminds you or all of us that you're coming out on top that you were born to ascend. This is a card of balance. It's a card of spirituality. So I do feel like they're encouraging you to keep some balance in your life. Keep those spiritual practices going. If your algorithm is attracting spiritual teachings, listen to them. You know, don't just hit the delete. Let's listen to them and see why they keep showing up for you. You also, too, with this, you may meet somebody wise who helps you in terms of moving or in terms of money. I feel like you have a wise uh, teacher showing up in your life. And with the Six of Swords, you're moving on. And so things are about to get a lot easier. If things have been a little difficult or bumpy, I don't see that continuing, especially if it's moving and travel. Now, for some of you, this indicates a partnership. Okay, so a relationship that's going to move ahead a lot smoother than the last one. So we're going to hit up a couple of oracles decks here. This first one has to do with money and events surrounding money. So you have, you're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back, look at all of the possible outcomes, and make sure you're heading in the right direction before moving forward. So not moving forward with too much fervor with moving forward with too much of that forceful type of energy. All right. And now let's see about love. All right. You've got picture looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. And look at those Polaroids. Those could be a synchronicity, okay? If you meet a new love and they're into photography or they have a Polaroid, it may also be an indication that somebody else misses you, but I just don't see you taking them back. I see you as moving forward here. So good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.